lovely people i'm back with another reading as you can see from the title how would your future spouse approach you or you approaching them this is the approach when they see you like you know like in the beginning of a relationship and all of that i would put at the end of the screen some recommendation i will put other readings for like your future spouse i've done your love story with your future spouse and all of that things you know i might do a playlist for a future spouse because i know a lot of you really like the spouse readings or love readings so i might do like playlist for each pick a card reading so it would be easier for you to find and anyway so remember to like and subscribe to my channel leave a comment if you want to if you want a personal reading you can email me my email is down in the description and let's start one two three four five six and i put another bio here and i feel like i don't know if i'm going to add it every time but i just felt like my audience is really getting massive and i like to divide the energy more and more as much as i can the collective energy so it will be better for you to hear okay and how for you if you i feel like some of you are new here into tower readings so how does it work exactly it's a collective energy so basically i would take for example, let's just say like 20 of you watching this reading or based on the spiral to make them easier for you, like let's say 60, 60 are watching this reading. I will divide each 10 of you for like the collective. So basically like 10 of you got a common thing of hate in your past life or some of you, 10 of you got a common thing. Only going to mention the common things. That's why sometimes if you watch the same reading on my channel, and they're all timeless, if you watch an old reading, you're going to have different messages because that time, the collective of the people who watched that reading in the bio, the collective energy that I picked from them was different. I only, I only mention the things that they're common between you two. And if it's not common, I would divide you to two group, group or three groups. So for you to understand which scenario is yours. So, but in general, life is like that. The, this is how the universe works. You might think like, this is how the universe works. Have you ever noticed like when a crisis happened to someone? It seems like a lot of, a lot of others having the same thing. It's like, what's happening? You always are like, what's happening? Everybody else is having an accident. Everybody, another friend is having that. So it's, it's just, it is what it is, right? Number one. So number one, how would your future spouse approach you or you approaching them? Um, okay. Um, this future spouse of yours is not going to be interested in you at first or they're not going to approach you. You are the approacher for some of you. Energy could be reversed. So also energy could be reversed. So whenever I say something could be this is, you know, your future spouse energy. But this is how they're going to approach you. So what do you feel like here? Someone going to really not notice the other person because the other person is like not there. Um, for, for example, I'm going to give you a scenario like you okay like your future spouse like you're going to approach your future spouse for example you go to a club with your homies whoever your friends and then you're like talking talk to your friend and your friend saying like oh look at those group of uh, boys girls whoever like they invited us or like those group are there like and you look at them you're like you really talk to them you, you're just talking to those group of people and you didn't really like you're like oh they they seem boring or like you know you're just talking to some people or you're just communicating and they're like they sound boring and then um that person an extra friend from there was in the toilet right or they were like out for a second to be on the phone to talk like they're talking on the phone then they come and you're like that's why you didn't see them like you didn't see them at first so i do feel like either like it could be reverse where like they didn't see you because you're the one who's like in a toilet somebody is like not going to notice that this person is there or like that person is quiet so it could be like you're going to be quiet and your future spouse gonna not notice you to feel some of your energy could be reverse here literally but someone here is not gonna notice the other person or both of you not noticing each other because you're quiet or like you're not noticing this person's personality or you're just quiet you're someone who's like you don't open up really fast okay i don't feel like the approach itself going to be very very mm, very good very social very open but someone going to give the other person a wrong impression of like ghosting them or like someone who's like 
they're not they're not a good texter or they're like someone is like they don't know how to communicate or and the other person's trying to communicate to them and someone is like working in their life or the other person's like what the fuck like why for example you're posting on your stories you're going out and doing things when i was talking to you and you're not really busy but someone's gonna get aggravated and going to ignore the other person but the other person is just like someone who's like boring i want to say it could be the boring person or someone who's like go to work and focus on things on a daily basis but they don't check their phone they kind of have a habit of not checking their phone around this time or something like that or they have a habit of like like not talking or they don't know how to talk so they just get on their phone and they're like they don't know what to say could be like not knowing what to say I have a friend like that or just i realize a lot of things like about her and about people like this because i'm not like that but well, like she doesn't know how to say like she she doesn't know how to express herself and then sometimes you get involved like talk 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 or about something and then people get it the wrong way but it's not really totally who she is but you are gonna get the wrong impression and going to be like not seeing who this person is or their point so there's some kind of miscommunication here miscommunication and someone who's taking action the other person is a bit cold so this is the approach we're only talking about how they're gonna approach you and how you're gonna approach them but i do feel like how we're going to be later on and be like obviously someone here going to get hurt the other person may have a fight with them or they got they're gonna notice that the other person is just gone or the other person is just gonna put them in a situation where one person's like feeling like oh no i love you but i don't know how to express myself but there's like a you know misunderstanding that going to clear so follow your intuition number two how will your future spouse approach you or you approaching them? Number two. Number two, you could be like someone who's like very traditional. You could be Indian. You could be Arab. You could be whatever. But this this approach is totally like organized. It's totally like, it's totally happened. It's totally happened. Or like someone knows of someone or this person is already a friend of yours. Like you already know this person. The devil energy, whatever, like break the ice energy is not going to be there when you meet them because this person, you already established some connection with this person. Like either for some of you, this person is at work with you or you, this is a friend or something like that. The approach itself is not going to be as intense because you already approached this person. You approach them platonically or you approach them at work or something like that. Or this is like a tribal thing where like this is a cultural thing, something like that. It, like it, it depends on where do you live, like where your family are arranging that or like your family telling you like there's this guy, there's this girl. Like how about you date them and see where it goes like or this is the son of that or daughter of that. So something like that for sure. And that's it. Thank you. Number three, how would your future spouse approach you or you approaching them? Number three, for some of you, you're not going to get married. Like maybe you already got married and you're divorced right now or you're already married and you're asking you're asking because you want to know if you're going to get married again. But if some of you are none, I don't know. You're, you're like celibate or you don't want to have a relationship. For some of you, maybe you lost your husband, spouse or wife, your widow and you don't want to have a your relationship. You're very protective uh toward your you know self and children or whatever so for some of you you might not really like marriage is not your thing or this is not gonna happen it's really like you think like it's like something already happened or something is like you rather have your freedom or you feel like whatever thing is like it's a fairy tale like you don't like you're just for some of you are fixated on like something that you want and you're not gonna get married because of that or you're so you feel like you're looking for love but you're not gonna get love or you're not getting it because you're like seems like you're tunnel vision on something and that's why you're not getting love like you're tunnel vision on something like yeah that's it Number four, how would your future spouse approach you and you approaching them? Wow, well, number four. Number four was, number four, like, I didn't still read it, but I just see the vision, see a lot of shit. Mm, it's just going to be juicy. Let me just drink my coffee for it. Ugh. Okay, so it's 
It's like you two are ignoring each other purposely. Okay? You two acting like you are invisible. You are not there. Whether you act like you're invisible and this person acts in invisible back. This person see in your eyes and they see that you have feelings but you're trying to hide it and they're doing the same thing. You're playing a game to test them and they are testing you back. You could be talking to someone who's very smart. Like this person is very smart, very intuitive or very smart or they know that you're like, you're into them but you're trying to basically, you're trying to test them to see if they're like, like you, like you before saying anything or you're very insecure about it and this person going to take it the wrong way. This person doesn't like games. Like your intentions are like different, but this person doesn't like game. Like you see how like you're trying to do something here. You you spanking this person, and this person like knows or like they're mad. Like you're doing something, and this it's not like about spanking. It's like it's just like you do something, and this person is so mad, but at the same time they're hiding that they're mad. They are seducing you. Like look how she's tied, like holding her like her thong or panties. Like she's like showing you her ass, like to spank it like like she's mad but whoever whatever their gender she's mad but she's hiding it or he's mad but he's hiding it like they're like okay that's what you fucking want to do like in their head that this is what you want to fucking do let me play this game with you you are a player like then they're gonna play you you are like here on your knee begging this person like you're begging this person and this person going to it's not like you're literally begging this person but you're going to feel like this person is going to manipulate your emotions. Like, because they feel like you're playing games and they really like you. This is your future thoughts. We're talking about that you're marrying this person. The, this person likes you and you're not direct. And this is a very direct person. They like to be very direct, very blunt, like straight to the point. And if you're not like that, they're going to like associate you to old relationships, fuck boys, fuck girls that they have. And they're just going to get irritated and they're going to feel like, they're gonna feel like you're intimidated by them they're gonna get triggered or something like that they're just not gonna like and then they go into purposely and you're gonna regret it because this person gonna purposely act dumb in a way that they also go into trigger you like they're gonna make you feel jealous they're gonna do everything it's like oh okay so you don't want to say that you like me and you're like trying to like play games to see like i feel like you started this game <laughs> like, don't cry about it <laughs> it's out of this game either like you wanted to see if they're looking at you or like they get jealous or something and they notice that you're doing that it's not like they did not notice and they hated it and then they're going to make you basically like go crazy beg them but not literally it sounds like you're going to be like oh my god like you're gonna snap they purposely want you to snap because they're gonna act stupid and they're gonna act like oh like every time like you're trying to test them or ask them like a not direct question to know if they like you they're gonna know that you're doing that and they're gonna give you an answer that you don't want to hear a not direct answer so they want to confuse you and you're going to break down you're gonna break down and this person is going to be like i'm here like bow bow for me or for it something like about beyonce so this person gonna put you down on your knee listen this is your future spouse, but the compilation process. <laughs> I love it because look, when I did the compilation process, look at this person is like totally dead. Left their horse and they're like dead, but they're there or like they their horse like they they flew out of the horse uh, off the horse and they fell down on the lake and they're kind of hating their life. Have you ever like just like you spilled coffee on yourself and you're just standing there hating your life like? Just like why why like this person like this is you you're just like you're just like what the fuck just happened so this is the approach but how is it going to happen after that i feel like after that you're going to go crazy you're going to go crazy energy could be reversed this all could be their scenario you're gonna go crazy you're gonna go crazy and the crazy side of you seems like one day you're just going to come out clean like this person saying something and you're just going to go aggressive on this person whether like a sexual kissing this person or aggressively telling them or like there's something very intense here that you're going to be like oh my god like i like you i love you i want you i'm tired or something like that you're just gonna snap and this person gonna be like i know i know number five how would your future spouse approach you or you approaching them? Mm, okay, number five. Oh, number five. This is going to be so confusing to you. Let me try to read it as much as I can to clarify this confusion, okay? 
like give you scenarios basically to understand it. I'm gonna try to explain it. Let me drink my coffee for it. This is a very confusing relationship at first. There's this balance that this is the other half, okay? This could be your twin flame, the right person for you, the person that's supposed to be for you in this lifetime and a lot of lifetime. Basically, your match from God. The right fit that matches your personality, your equal, your balance, the person who balance you, the things that you lack, they have. The, the thing inside your soul. I'm trying to describe it more and more because it's going to make sense. Wait. Things inside your soul, whatever thing that was really you're not sure of or you're lacking. This, when this person going to come, going to light up a lot of fire in you that you never thought exists. And this fire is I'm not talking about emotion, love, sexual fire. Really going to like make you feel like you want to live your life purpose that was meant for you from spirit from God that going to be like gonna come to you. It's almost like you're gonna have an awakening when you meet this person. This awakening could be good, it could be bad. It's all good. The outcome is good. But I'm saying like this awakening could be coming to you in a in a wish shape or come to you in a tower moment shape where like it's a disaster going to happen, gonna shock you. But it going to make you want something else in life and go make you pursue the career or the path, a life path or message for you, goals for you from the universe. And this is the person that going to give you a different perspective on life. And this going to happen so quick, it seems like here. It's going to happen so quick. It's almost like a scary mystery because you have this shape of this person and this person is there and all of those feelings and things that they're very confusing that's happening to you going to hit you out of the blue this person could come also out of the blue also this relationship going to be scary for you or for them because here like whatever you thought it was easy in old relationship with this relationship, it's going to be not easy. This person trigger you, trigger your brain, and trigger your perspective. It's almost like whatever you thought that you don't want because it's almost like, for example, you know how like um how to ex I'm trying to add my best to explain it to you in a more like simple simple story okay i'm gonna tell you a simple story it's just an example but i don't like i don't want to mention religion for example but mention something else so people would not get triggered let's speak about religion let's speak about religion in general so for example you come from a family that got a religion a let's just say a religion a or religion b okay religion a or religion b you one day go somewhere in an area where people who like got religion be there and you're so convinced that your religion is the right religion it's just an example but i'll show you how scary it is the right religion so in your head like this is my right religion this is what i want this is my belief and this person is like this is my religion or whatever i do feel like what's challenging here is like one of you could be more um like more of a rebel the other person, one person, uh, also for some of you, it could be the opposite. It could be like this person is literally in religion A with you. Same thing, like you're both in a religion A, but one of you got out. Not got out from their religion, but they're like, fr like they, what am I saying? There's some death here, but we're not going to get in this person energy or who died in their family or whatever. I uh, feel like a lot of death or in your family but something endings like there's a lot of endings or this person went through a lot of tower moments and this person got out and they they are more free more flexible they're like okay if i'm gonna date someone or gonna marry someone i don't mind marrying someone from a different religion like faith is faith and i'm not gonna force it on my children my children can choose whether like my religion or the, my partner religion or no religion but you are so fixated on like no, 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 my religion or my culture is the right thing. And if I have a person that I'm going to marry, it's going to be that religion. And we're not talking about only religion. It's just a more simpler example to explain the energy. My religion, I'm going to have my kids do this. I'm going to, you set your future on like the things, the norms and the culture that you have. 
and it's just like whether it's like you are here or there so and then when you meet this person it's everything that you want in a person and it's just terrifying that you cannot pull back because this is the right person but it's challenging your beliefs now it's challenging challenging a lot of things it could be also a belief thing that you felt like when i have children when i have someone i want to do that i want to do that but yet you have this perfect human that made for you but there's this thing that is so scary and you're so scared of like the outcome i don't feel like this thing here what going to make it so scary we're not talking about religion only again it's talking about other things but this is the simplest issue so it could be an issue here whether like an issue of belief an issue of something an issue of like this person have trust issues also they could be someone or you could be someone who left something behind like they do not trust the people who are you like your people or something like that because of something happened to them like an accident or something like that or you don't trust that but when you meet this person you're like what is that right so i don't feel like something here is very scary because for you and for them it's very scary they're like they don't want someone who's not really open-minded and you like you never thought that you're gonna have a different perspective or it could be that this is their energy but this is very terrifying very scary it feels like a hurricane going to land on you and it's just gonna make you want to cry and panic and you're just trying to pull away your energy but you're scared and i don't feel like the right conversation here like like right communication going to clear things and you're gonna know I don't feel like this is what's going to happen. At first, it's going to be this fear. But when you start talking to each other, really, and show each other your, your like, each other's bane and everything, you're going to understand that you both want the same thing. It's almost like all of this image thing was a delusion. You're going to understand that you both actually on the same page. Like, you both are respectful to each other. But something, like, feels very scary at first. So, this is, a, this is how you meet your twin flame. So, people think, like, your twin flame, meeting your twin flame, it is romantic, it's everything. But sometimes it's scary because we're talking about a person who's made for you, who's not exactly like you, who is exactly like you, but it's balancing you. If you were logical, this person is emotional. It's like you, but in a different person than you like but you in the same time but can do your weaknesses and this person usually will trigger you or will tell you will help you to balance yourself or will help you see like for example if you're a logical person i'm very logical so uh my twin for example he's like someone who's sometimes gets so caught up in his emotion and this is what i know of this person even if i didn't meet him yet but it's like it's caught up in his emotion so and i'm someone who i don't get caught up in my emotion and sometimes i forget to be sad or to be stressed and had a lot of issues i actually was uh, admitted in a hospital because of my nerves so and it's like for someone to tell me like hey this is what you feel or you need this and this the feelings are this is what you feel or like highlight my feelings it's like you're sad like or knows exactly what i need emotionally that time because i could just disconnect like a machine right like knows because i have my feelings there but i do not acknowledge them so if someone's saying like oh like he sees that and you're like oh like lanu needs today she needs that or she she's upset like i'm just gonna do that or she's that like or like don't like you know like emotionally emotionally better say like i cannot even explain it but and this person is like um and if you're emotional this person is very logical so even if you think like this is the thing about being emotional and logical people think that they know and they think they think from a source of energy uh, but most of the time sometimes people ca be caught up like they don't know their weakness caught up in thinking and all the thought in their head comes from emotions and sometimes all the thought in their head are everything even their emotions are addressed by their thoughts almost like the thought telling them this is the, this is what you feel it's deeper so it'd be someone if you want to be better you need to understand yourself but I do feel like this is what's scary about meeting your twin flame. This is someone who is you, but function a little bit different. So when you meet this person, um, you're like, I like everything. And this person makes me feel calm, but it's like some, you know, it's just something different. But I do feel like for a majority of you, number five, your twin flame could be culturally different or something that taboo I'm hearing also. So it could be taboo in a sense where like, Maybe your family told you it is taboo, like, or something here. So follow intuition. I don't know if you're in the LGBT community or something, 
but you might have like a hard time this is terrifying for some of you it could be it could be a different example here like for some of you seeing like you're bisexual and you never thought you're bisexual or like you could be attracted to this gender but then you can be attracted to this gender and it's very scary because you never thought you wanted that and you're like now my life gonna be different this is going to be a bit complicated or something like that about it but complication and you feel like you might have to give something away so the approach itself is going, I told you about the scary things and this going to really, so I do feel like one person, whoever outspoken, who's more outspoken may approach the other person and like ease the talking. So I do feel like I'm going to start with talking and I do feel like whoever the other person here who's like, who's like emotional going to going to maybe take it in a way that it's just a bit platonic. You know what I'm seeing here? this approach here like just to to like tell you for some of you this approach is going to be slow 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 till someone gonna start conversation and then this conversation going to lead like someone is like someone just like very scared and hiding their feeling or someone getting pissed because the other person is like timid it's like someone is very timid and someone is willing to talk and the other person is very scared from the emotion but what i'm seeing here like if you hear this bio here number four this could be your person perspective or the, like the other person perspective of how you going to approach them. So going to make more sense because you might do a mistake of what this person like spouse did. This person spouse or this is like who you are or this is the something like that. Or this is your spouse, okay? I mean, this is your spouse. So it could be like reverse. But if you're drawn to choose two bios, this could be the case. But this conversation going to like... Someone would want the other person to be clear about their emotion and the other person is like wanting the other person to be clear about their words. And it might lead to aggressive fight or something till like, but like the feelings are so there. Like in this aggressive fight going to lead to like just breaking up, like breaking up, not breaking up with each other, but I see like the thing here, like I'm trying to explain. This could be like a full drama shit, but you're both going to know that you love each other and you're going to be together. So the breaking up could be someone, whoever the other person going to notice that the other person is like very scared or they're not going to notice your feelings. I told you, like someone here is very logical. The other person is like, they think from their emotion and they think the other person knows. Um, The other person is like, oh, this person didn't say anything. They're like playing games with me or they ghost me or, or like... They play in a hot and cold game and they could really feel the same thing. You're both in love with each other. And the other person is also as scared as you. And they don't know what are those feelings, if it's real love or whatever. And they need you to talk for them to rationalize what's going on. But you're not talking because you feel like they're not giving you the emotions. And this person doesn't, like you both are like on, not, on the same page, but you think like you're not on the same page. But the breakup, so one person could have a fight with that person and then it going to lead to like the other person just breaking down and telling them like this is what I feel and you two finally addressing things. Or like even like I don't know, you might have been like uh, while you're having sex, I don't feel like this could be like random sex that going to happen and while you're like in the act or like you're physical with each other here like where you're both quiet and understand that you love each other. But this is going to be a whole frustrating situation, right? might frustrate you, you might feel jealous or something like that first number six how would your future spouse approach you and how would you approach them or how would you approach them i don't feel like both of you are going to approach your approach each other really about a topic like I'm going to open a topic here or something like that. Also, this person could be like around a friend of yours or a friend of yours is here and they're friend with this person and they're like inviting this person. So the approach is easy. It's already set. Like the approach is easy. There's no issue with the approach. However, there's going to be the talking and everything. But however, here, um, someone may seem like not interested. It's not like they're not interested, but someone going to seem like like someone gonna take it very slow where while the other person gonna want more and also someone may not understand the other person at first but the approach can start like you're both gonna have like your numbers or whatever you're gonna talk 
wasn't gonna be there and i don't feel like the talk can go into thought so like someone may not understand like you're going to talk a lot at first or something like that but there's a lot of talking at first you might start as friends or start platonic but you might talk a lot you might talk about subjects and argument or talk about a person um there's a lot of talking there's a lot of talking and this person like the other person there's a lot of talking but maybe like some conflict between each other at first uh where the conflict of like you both are talking but like you think like the other person sees you as a friend or someone here is like a bit gonna be a little bit insecure think like the other person got a lot of girls a lot of men so they might take their energy away but then they go into regret it and then they can come back and all of that shebang thank you for watching oh well you know that i didn't sleep yet I usually like sleep around like 6 p.m or something I have to go to the hospital. I have someone in the hospital. But anyway, thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. I wanted to choose about my future spouse. Should I choose or not? I don't want to choose in public. Not because of anything, because I have like weird stalkers who are obsessed with me. And I have this weird bitch who told me like she, every time like she wanted me to choose a bio for my twin. Or whoever my spouse is to see. And then. Very weird. I'm not going to talk about it. Anyway. Have a lovely day everybody. And I'm going to go now. Tired.